One of the very most disturbing things about every single abuser in the world is they're way, way, way too demanding. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. But the whole thing is, they don't recognize that they they're not demanding, but the other people in their life are so demanding. They just can't. But these abusers that abuse me to death, they'll give the little they have to their abuser. Now, in pretend a lot narcissist case, I, I, I don't understand anything. He, he totally lied to me about all his finances and everything. Like, and it's two hundred thousand dollars, and you're like giving the one person like I, 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 I have no idea. Don't absolutely doesn't comprehend in my brain how how that can even happen. But um, yeah, all my abusers were extremely demanding, and don't even recognize it. Very extremely delusional to being demanding to their victims. It's just, uh, yeah, they don't even know what they're doing. How bad they really are. Like, they want something done. Now, now, I told you to come with me now. I mean, I, you know, like, oh, you can't wait five minutes? You can't even wait, like, you know, well, you can't wait a half hour, let alone five minutes or one minute. It has to be that second that they want something. But for them, they can make you wait the day if they want to. If they don't feel like, oh, I don't feel like it. Or I thought you were going to go to a grocery store an hour ago. No, I just don't feel like it. Um, very, very rude, disrespectful at every single angle. Um, there's just too many really, really mean people out there. There are. This world's not worth it with all the mean people. I, there's just way too many of them. And it's just way too much to deal with. I shouldn't have went through all the hell that I went through. Ever. Oh, well, you know, uh, my stupid fucking narcissist friend. A female and, you know, pretend I'm a narcissist. Well, you're getting help. No, no, I never got any help from them. The little fucking crumbs that they gave to me is nothing. A lousy little fucking bus pass to put up with fucking, uh, total insane how oh my god like their memories are extremely distorted and very very delusional fuck i'll say her name kathy her mom died she's living with dumb and dumber right in fact fuck this was before Dumber came along, Glenn. It was only Ted. She left me and Ted in the dark. 137 Rear, College Avenue. Left us. Uh, without ever visiting us. You know, all this bullshit. You know, her mom, okay. Who cares? About money, who cares? But she claimed to be, we were her best friends. Her mom dies. She's out there partying with users who spent up all our money. And she never, ever came around for me and Ted. But maybe she splurged a couple hundred bucks on us. I'm talking about she splurged like over 20 grand on her friends. Us? Not even, but yeah, she did come over to... 
Ted's like every other month with a case of the best beer of Yangling, a case of it, and ordered pizza. But that was every other month. Maybe a whole year went by. Nothing. Oh, I, did I say? It was a long time. But, like, a six-month period where we had no contact with her whatsoever at all. And whatever. Oh, oh, Tara, I paid you for all my, all those paintings. You know, my, my mom, you know, I had money for my mom's stuff. No, she never paid for one of those paintings. They were only all f f uh, $15, $20 for my nice paintings I gave to her in the past. The beautiful sunset, the beautiful waterfall, and they're not even hanging. But she has a hoarder's trailer. They're not even hanging. My, give them back to me. I didn't even pay for them anyway. Oh, I paid at least. I paid for them. Forty, fifty dollars each. No, not even close. I mean, it was, I suggested. Yeah, she has, she has no memory. No memory at all. No memory. When you're drunk all the time, you don't have memory, but I mean, still. Spend it on users. And then, and then, you know, me and Ted were the good guys in our life. Hmm, whatever. Whatever. All the hell that happens to really, really good people ain't worth it at all. Oh, well, you know. Things will work out. All things work together for those who love the Lord. Um. <laughs> not always the Holocaust. Great example. Great example. It's not always, always there. The Holocaust. The Holocaust is a great example of proving that you live on Satan damned to hell. Sin, Satan damned to hell. The sin cursed earth. That's where you live. The Holocaust. And there's so many situations that aren't as that extreme, but pretty fucking similar. Sybil's life. Why would it take that long? Why would it take uh, Bill Cosby's victims over 50 that long to get the truth out? Sybil. I mean, she's an adult, and finally... Her counselor found, finds out the truth. After all those years, you don't know anything about it. All swept underneath the rug, all lied. People don't know the truth. Abusers don't tell you the truth about them. No, I might have said a little too much truth about my so-called friend, but she's not... She's okay to visit, but, you know, I don't, I don't have the means. And I'm really pissed off that she helps out. A loser. Now, her friend that stays with her, she should help him out. But he's a bit annoying, too, with some of this stuff. But nowhere close to the uh, loser that she helps out. So guess what? The guy who uh, stays there, he should stay there for free. Putting up with all her fucking hell from the loser that comes in and she gives him like a hundred dollars a month. Get the fuck out of here. Give the good guy who lives in the back a hundred bucks a month. He never ever harms you. But no, she likes to pick on the pick on the innocent victims. Pick on her innocent victims. Me and the guy lives in the back. Pretty much. That's why I probably never see her again. Well, See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya.